Team MC, this is your red MC back to your screens again. Guys, I think I'm digging this thing because it's just like a side look. I don't know. Guys, 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 yo. I've been so stressed. I've been so overwhelmed. You know when life is just so tough and life is a little bit difficult everywhere you're turning to like <laughs> you just caught you're in a tight spot you know a lot of us have different relieving methods of like relief not relieving but relief methods of relieving ourselves of stress and you know pressure and whatnot for me i find that it's youtube making youtube videos talking to you guys you know so there's this one particular video that i've been <laughs> wanting to react to for the longest guys like for the longest period of time i reserved it especially um for when like everything is okay or whatever but now that i'm a little bit i'm a little bit stressed guys i'm a little bit feeling pressured um i just felt like i should do this maybe it will help me to you know unburden and loosen up and stuff like that so Let's react to this video together. I think they have to get married within 90 days or I don't know, something like that. So this is a story of this guy, you guys. I can't I can't wait. Let's just jump into this. I'm talking too much. Hey, how you doing? Wendy, how you doing? What's going on? I've been working as a nail technician for 15 oh. years and I love it. That is oh, awesome. That is nice. It's a great job. You get to meet new people, make them look beautiful. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take a look at the menu. My nails are ugly. I come to Aloha Nails about twice a month, and Caesar does a really good job. He always puts his heart into his work. People request him all the time. Okay. <laughs> when I tell people I do nails, he looks they're pretty so surprised. Humble. I learned to do nails from uh, my ex-girlfriend. She was my high school sweetheart. We dated for 13 years. And when we broke up, I was heartbroken. But still a hopeless romantic. It's very important for me to have somebody that's my soulmate. Somebody that I can walk the beach with, live our life, and uh, basically like a dreamland. Like I love you. Oh, this guy has vision, yo. He and has... I think I finally found the one woman that I've been searching for all my life. Her name is Maria. Damn! Years old. Damn! She lives in Ukraine. We met on Anastasia Day. It's a very special website that brings Americans and Ukrainian women to meet each other for a small price. Anastasia Date has a unique system. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, guys. I had to actually pause it right there. Okay. You know we're not supposed to be judging of first impressions, but like, off first impressions immediately off the bat caesar seems like a humble guy very hardworking, very passionate like he knows what he's doing he means what he's saying you know there are some certain people who you can tell that wow this is actually you know a good person of course you can never tell but through judging of first looks and i can tell that he's humble you know he's he's down to earth he's in his ways um Although Anastasia, I feel like that's her name. I don't know if it's Maria or Anastasia. I don't really care. First of all, Ukraine has beautiful women. My gosh, she's so beautiful. She is so beautiful. Right off the bat, um, I don't mean to stereotype, but you know when you see such a beautiful girl, a sexy girl like that, with, you know, a guy like Caesar, you tend to jump into conclusions saying that, you know, She's a gold digger, she's looking for the money, blah, blah, blah. She's not after the love. You know, it might not be the case, but, you know, off first impression. She's very beautiful. So I hope that she's going to prove me wrong. I hope she's not going to break his heart. You could buy flowers, candy. Then it's up to the girl whether she wants to respond. This is the card and the flowers that I sent her with my email and my phone number on it. This cost me four hundred and fifty dollars. Emailed me back 
Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Wait. $450. Is this guy okay? Is this guy okay? Hold up. Do you, do you know how much $450 is in Ugandan shillings? No, let me, let me, let me just, let me, let me, let me just show you how much $450 is, alright? Wait up. Mm-hmm. $450, guys, hmm? is 1,646,994 shillings. It's a million. This is almost it's enough to cover rent it's enough to cover rent for one month and the six hundred thousand is enough to take you to driving school yo that's that's not joking money that is not joking money i hope this girl is not kidding with the guy honestly i think there was immediate sparks yeah it was like firecrackers and everything was just booming off she's kind she's smart funny she makes me feel special. She is my soulmate. Oh, no. Maria and I communicate every single day. And then she sends me these little videos, and she's giving me pet names like Big Daddy, my husband. Oh, my God. Can't wait to be with you. Yo. My husband. No way, no way, no way. I just hope this chick is not leading the guy on. Because somebody as beautiful as she is is so capable of trapping a guy into doing whatever she wants. Let me, let me, let me, okay. Let me just cool off. Because I don't know if what I'm thinking is really the case. So, let's go on. Do you think she's sending those videos to anyone else? I hope she's not sending those videos to anyone else. Yo, did you catch that? So the producer was asking the guy, does she ever say your name? And the guy is just saying, no, she calls me baby and all these kind of pet names. You'll find that she has various people that she talks to. And, you know, this guy is just like number 100 on the list. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. Baby, hi. I just want to tell you that I love you and I miss you. So... We are finally going to get to meet in person. I'm planning to fly to Ukraine, and uh, I'm really excited. <laughs> and I, we've been dating for five years, and we've been talking about marriage for a long time. Why haven't you ever met her in person? Well, because it's really hard for me to save up the money to do that. She's a receptionist. She's not getting paid that much, so I'm trying to at least help her and send her money. Like a lot. I give her probably about like, um, probably about like, Eight hundred dollars a month. No. Whoa, 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 Wait. Eight hundred what? Eight hundred dollars. Is this guy okay? Is this guy okay for someone you don't know? Seriously? Oh my gosh, guys. What is eight hundred dollars? What is eight hundred dollars? What is eight hundred dollars equivalent to in Uganda shilling? Hmm. That's a whole lot of money. That's a whole lot of money. I hope he knows what he's doing. The American dollar goes a long way in Ukraine. She needs to buy clothes Uganda for herself. Too. She needs to pay for the cable, internet. So every time I get a paycheck, I send her money. Over the over the years, I've sent. Forty thousand dollars to Maria. Excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Caesar. What? Oh my God! Forty thousand dollars. Yo, how much is that in Ugandan shillings? How much is that in Ugandan shillings? How much? I don't know. Like that's a lot of money. This guy. I, oh. God, oh. Let me not look at this guy with conviction because that's a lot of money. Does he know what that type of money could do for him? 
he could use that money to develop himself personally. Yo, I just hope this girl is not playing this guy. I just hope. For the sake of love, I just hope so. When are you going? I'm gonna try to go in a couple of weeks. It's just really fishy to me. I feel like she's feeding him lies. I don't want to see him get hurt. He's a really nice guy. I'm like, I'm like overboard excited to go here. It's going to be everything I dreamed of. Everything is right on this. I've invested my savings, my time, working seven days a week. It's mm. got to work. Just, I just feel in my blood that it's going to work. I just can't get her out of my mind. Well, I hope it works out the way Hope does. Yep. You guys, the mere fact that he has so much hope in this, the mere fact that he's so passionate about this, yo, I just, my heart is breaking right now. My heart is racing. I just hope this girl is for real and like she will, she, she has mutual feelings like the guy actually does, you know, and she actually wants to achieve the same things as the guy because the way he's talking about her, the way he has spent on her, the way he has invested in this whole five-year relationship which is long distance by the way it's crazy but let's just i don't know i hope so too gosh hello hey babe how you doing how's your day okay and you pretty good i missed you miss you too i love you i love you too yo <laughs> wait her answers are so dry. Oh my god. Of course she's replicating what the guy is saying, but her answer is so dry. Imagine someone like talking to you and expressing themselves like, I love you, I miss you. And then you're there like, I love you too. I miss you too. Like seriously, you guys know where her answers are so dry. She's probably smoking. Yo. Still think that we should um we should do Ukraine. This one is crap. We can get like a nice little cheap hotel and we can go drink some coffee and we can sit there and chat with your friends because, you know, I've, I've always seen all your friends online. I have yes, really, yes. you know, to be able like to visit your family and get to learn a, a little bit about your culture there. Mm, I think it's a good idea, but it's, no, it's really cold. No, it's cold and it will be difficult, you know, to walk on the street, like, to show my city. Mm -hmm. Better to do it like, when it's nice weather. Is she lying? It's a reason I think it's better for both of us to relax in some nice and beautiful place. I like to Mexico. Right now I'm starting to worry. Is she lying? Like, is she lying? Like, can she look me in the eyes and tell me that she's actually lying? Why is she refusing the guy from coming? Climate doesn't matter. What? You think the U.S. doesn't have winter? The Probably winter in the U.S. is so much colder than Ukraine. So I think the guy is used to coldness by now. So why are you refusing him from coming? And I'm so disappointed that this guy hasn't actually defended himself saying that, you know what? The U.S. actually does have winter. I'm used to the cold. It doesn't really matter. You know, he should have spoken up. Yo, this girl, this girl is getting me pissed. Because this isn't the first time that I tried to meet up with Maria. Over the past five years, me and Maria, we tried to meet up over three different occasions. The first time, the travel agency, they uh, took half of her money. The second time, she said that she missed the flight. The third time, she was missing something on her passport. I have no idea what it was. And I paid for everything. I just want to see her in real life because that's a part of my life that I'm missing. Are you telling me all these excuses are from Maria's part? Maria Anastasia, I don't even know what her name is anymore. Are you telling me that everything was from her part? How did you miss a flight? How'd you meet a flight? Like what? What's wrong? What's wrong? Do you not want to get out of Ukraine? How'd you miss a flight? And how can the travel agency actually take half of your money? How convenient. How convenient. How convenient. What's wrong with you? 
oh my goodness just right when they plan to meet up an excuse comes up that's convenient right god this girl is playing this man i'm so upset i'm so upset i'm really upset she's not proving me wrong so far even with her sweet words and whatever she probably doesn't even know caesar's name oh my goodness are you sure you don't want me to go to ukraine are you sure yes i'm sure it's better to do when it's nice weather defend yourself tell her you i was planning to like spend time with you like a romantic place you know like next and enjoy each other no i i know i you know babe listen i understand that how convenient that she had to mention mexico okay how convenient that she had to actually mention mexico she wants more money of course of course mexico is far and the guy of course would have to send more money makes a lot of sense maria maria i'm disappointed i'm disappointed you know i love you but it's gonna be Don't tough you know money's kind of tight right now and if we go to mexico i'm at least gonna have to have at least like six to seven thousand dollars it's gonna be like at least two thousand dollars for your plane ticket there from Ukraine to Mexico, and then once we get to Mexico, I'm gonna to have to pay for the resort and then food. It's really gonna be hard for me to uh, to be able to pay for that. Uh, I'll tell you what I do. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna work harder, and I'm going to. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna just start going to work early. I'm gonna start doing whatever I need to do. All right, I'll figure something out, babe. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm your man, and I love you. I don't even want to finish this because I feel like it. No, this guy, this guy is crazy. Seriously, what kind, what kind of love is that? Honestly, what kind of love is that? You know, whereby you're sacrificing so much for a person who's always making excuses. You're never sure if she's committed to you. Oh my goodness I feel like Maria is actually really 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 playing this guy for a fool I hope he gets to realize it sooner than later yo but on the like if you really are involved in a long distance relationship guys and someone is really committed to you to giving you half of their salary even Spending dollars and dollars and dollars on you over the years and is planning to meet up with you, travel all the way across the world just to meet up with you and you guys are sure that you actually love each other, that's, that's real, that's something good. Don't play a person like that, don't play a person just because you're at a distance and what what doesn't mean that the person really doesn't have genuine intentions for you. So I feel like Maria has no genuine intentions for this guy. This guy is going to suffer a massive heartbreak. I'm sorry, Caesar. I'm sorry. I had to say, it, but yo, that's it. I don't want to complete this video. It's done. This this life is something else. At least it kept me distracted for like a little while. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to attach the link to the video so you can check it out yourself and see what maria is up to with caesar you know I'm, i don't think i'll ever continue <laughs> watching the episode because he seems like a really nice guy and she just seems like she has pure evil planned for him but um yeah guys i guess i'll see you in the next 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 upload i hope you enjoyed this don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment if you really loved it and if you're seeing my face for the first time do subscribe and turn on the notification bell and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much you are treasured see y'all stay gucci stay healthy and stay cool